Hull are playing Everton tonight. So using our Poisson model we can get the parameters that we need from soccerstats.com so this is for home teams we just look at hull so they concede two goals a game and score one which is why they're in the relegation zone we also need what the league average is so if I average over all the teams at home they can the teams typically score 1.61 goals and they concede 1.22 so you know you'd expect teams to score more at home than away so we've got one that's an average number of goals that holds score. Two, the average number they concede. These are the average goals scored and conceded across all the teams in the league at home. And these are the average for Everton. So to get that, I just click on away and Everton on average score 1.22 and concede 1.56 and that's what I have there 1.22 and 1.56 so once I just plug in those parameters our model is able to simulate a thousand games and then generate statistics so we can see that on average we get slightly over three goals a game the home team wins 177 times it's a draw 199 times and the away team wins 624 times so we'd ex we'd be expecting Everton to win. We'd also expect three or more goals to be scored since in the simulations we got three or more goals 582 times out of a thousand. In the thousand simulated games both teams scored 549 times on average the home team scores one goal and the away team scores two and these are the Asian handicap statistics so the home team wins by more than a goal only 53 times and the away team wins by more than one goal only 360 times so that's what our simulations get. We can run it again to see that, you know, there is randomness. So if I run, if I do another thousand, the mean goals have dropped to 2.8 compared to three. The two or three goals are similar. The mean home in a way, you know, it was a nice 1.00, 2.03 that looked like a 1.2. This time we got 0.9 and 1.9. So anyway, that's basically what our simulator is saying. Remember, we, we in in the previous videos, we actually looked at the function so you could see the kind of the way it worked. Then I can just go to the betting markets. 
you get more than double your money odds backing Everton. So that's pricing, that's saying Everton have roughly a 50% chance. In fact, slightly lower than a 50% chance of winning. While our simulation had Everton winning over 60%. Just look at this again. Yeah, so the away team won 61% of the time, 62% of the time in this simulation. So that's why I'm willing to back Everton. It also looks like we're going to get three or more goals. So the other bet is to bet on the score to say it's going to be 2-1. I mean, this is 1.9 and 0 0.9, but I mean, that's pretty close. The reason I want to do that, is it in this market? Yeah. So backing Everton to win 2-1, the odds are 9-1. to Because remember, here when it says 10, it, out of bookies, that would be 9-1. to Because the bookies odds are 9-1 to and you get your money back. While here, it in, you just get 10 times your money back. So that includes the, the fact that you're getting your money back. So, again... We'll see how it goes. I'm still, you know, recording these, seeing what the model predicts and what actually happened. And there's some interesting patterns emerging, even though, of course, the sample is still pretty small. So there seems to be certain bets that the model is doing better in that it's getting correct maybe 60% of the time, while others it's getting right 40% of the time. So we'll see. I mean, once I have, I've done, gone through this process for many more games, then I'll have more, like the, that data, that kind of information will be more meaningful. It'll, you know, if, say if I've done 50 games and I have, statistics from that it's a it's to me a better gauge of the model than just maybe 10. so now see how the game goes